Hi, this is Todd with IEP Security coming to you from inside IEP Mobile One, our mobile office slash demo RV. And we're going to work specifically with adding a Z-Wave device to our GC2 controller, which in this case is our alarm panel and our Z-Wave controller. Now, the way we're going to do that is we're going to get to the home screen by just tapping that home button on the panel. It'll take us to this screen here. We're going to hit services and then Z-Wave. And we'll need to get into the toolbox. And the way to do that is go to this little wrench here, and you'll be asked for an installer code. If you do not have one, um, you'd have to call the office, and we could supply you with one. We do not give them out just simply because we wouldn't want somebody to go in and change some configuration and possibly cause a challenge with the, the system. So it's not something you, you would normally have unless you've asked for one before. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and add our... Uh, installer code right there four digits and you'll you'll see that it brings up the z-wave toolbox and the funny thing about z-wave components at least these are that you have to remove them first and then add them what i mean by that is in the warehouse whenever they test them they'll learn them onto a controller if, if they learn properly they just put them in a box and ship them out to us then when we get them we get out to a business or a homeowner uh we installation we actually actually remove them before we can add them because they're in the they're in the uh, remove uh, mode. So we're going to remove it by hitting remove device and then we're going to come over here to our lamp which you can see is on. It has one of our Z-Wave uh, bulbs in it. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn that on. I mean excuse me, turn it off and turn it back on. It's going to flash to show you that it is actually communicated with our controller. You saw that. Come right back over here and you'll see that a device has been removed from the another network. Boom, it's gone. We're going to hit OK, back, and then we're going to add a device by just simply hitting Add. And then we'll come back over to that same lamp, and you can see that it's on. We're going to turn it off and then turn it back on, and it will flash again and it, just to uh, show you acknowledging that it has been indeed added to the panel. You're going to see it. It'll flash. There it goes. Come right back over here, and you'll see that the Z-Wave device has been added and it's the multi-level power switch, which is just the bulb right here, just like that. And we're going to go now back to the user interface, which is out of the toolbox. And you'll hit switches and controls, which is where Z-Wave bulbs are at. Tap on it. You'll see there that it's, it's right there. I want to rename it. I'm just going to write, I'm just going to name it bulb, just, uh, to be quick and then now we'll be able to turn it off just by hitting the off button there come right around here boom it's off and we can then turn it back on i love this uh, that, so you can actually put it on you can dim it it's dimmable and you saw i hit 50 percent, and there it is back on so that's how you add it or again you have to remember remove it then add it uh, to your GC2 controller. I hope this video helps, and just uh, give me a call if I can ever help, 405-408-8633, Todd Jackson, IEP Security. Have a great day.